How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my top 10 running back prospects entering the 2014 NFL Draft. Just like the other videos, it's going to be a breakdown of the prospect's strengths and weaknesses. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting our list off at number 10, we have DeAnthony Thomas, the junior out of Oregon, sitting at 5'9", 175 pounds. During his junior campaign at Oregon, he compiled 594 yards rushing on 96 attempts for 6.2 yard per carry average and 8 touchdowns. DeAnthony Thomas seems like he really hasn't improved much since his freshman season when he actually had his best season statistically. He ran for one more yard his freshman season with 40 less rushing attempts than this year. His freshman season he actually averaged over 10 yards per carry. He also had 8 more receiving touchdowns and 400 more yards receiving his freshman year compared to this year. Despite this, the guy's still a playmaker. He's your perfect definition of a home run threat and is probably the fastest player going into this year's draft. He's very versatile as he can be used as a running back, receiver, or kick returner. He is undersized and his durability is a question as he missed multiple games this past season. He's not the guy to run in between the tackles and who can get you yards after contact. He is only effective when in open space, but when in open space, he has a great shot at making his man miss. And for DeAnthony Thomas, I have him projected late third round in this 2014 NFL Draft. And coming in at number 9, we have Devontae Freeman, the junior out of Florida State, sitting at 5'8", 203 pounds. During his junior campaign at Florida State, he ran for 1,016 yards on 173 attempts for a 5.9 yard per carry average and 14 touchdowns. Freeman is a lot more physical than his 5'8 frame would suggest. He's great at catching the football out of the backfield and is solid in pass protection. He's also very shifty with quick feet. He doesn't have the greatest speed and durability is an issue as he missed this past spring with a back injury. But my projection for Devontae Freeman is mid to late third round in this 2014 NFL Draft. Sitting at number 8 in our top 10 is Lake Seastrunk, the red shirt junior out of Baylor sitting at 5'9", 210 pounds. During his junior season at Baylor, he compiled 1,177 rushing yards on 158 attempts for a 7.4 yard per carry average on 11 touchdowns. Lake possesses incredible balance and tremendous agility. He has solid straight line speed and has great athletic ability. He is a perfect example of a potential home run threat. He doesn't have great vision and he tends to go east to west too often. Ball security is an issue and he needs to get stronger in his lower body to help him drive through tackles. But for Lake Seastrunk, I have him projected early third round to mid third round of this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 7, we have Charles Sims, the red shirt senior out of West Virginia, sitting at 6 foot, 215 pounds. During his senior season at West Virginia, he ran for 1,095 yards and 208 attempts for a 5.3 yard per carry average and 11 touchdowns. Sims has a very strong low body, which allows him to run through arm tackles. He's a very solid receiver out of the backfield who can line up out wide in the slot and be effective. He makes quick, decisive cuts and possesses impressive quickness and acceleration. Ball security is a question as Sims tends to run too high most of the time. He also tends to struggle in short yarded situations. He has had his fair share of injuries in the past so durability will obviously be an issue. For Charles Sims, I have him projected early third round in this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 6, we have Jeremy Hill, the redshirt sophomore out of LSU, sitting at 6'1", 235 pounds. During his sophomore season at LSU, he ran for 1,401 yards on 203 attempts for a 6.9 yard per carry average and 16 touchdowns. Hill is your prototypical downhill runner who keeps his legs turning through every hit. He has a great size for the position for the next level. He's very quick laterally in finding the hole with quick burst. He's also very solid in catching the football. Ball security may be an issue as you always see him holding the ball with one hand through tackles. He doesn't have the greatest balance and is inconsistent as a pass blocker while having his fair share of off the field issues which you can look up yourself. But for Jeremy Hill, I have him projected late second round in this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 5 we have Andre Williams the senior out of Boston College sitting at 6 foot 230 pounds. During his senior campaign at Boston College, he ran for 2,177 yards on 355 attempts for a 6-point yard per carry average and 18 touchdowns. Williams actually won the 2013 Doug Walker Award for the best running back in college football. Williams is an absolute workhorse who reminds you of an old-school era running back. He guarantees yards after contact even though it will be a little bit more difficult to do so transitioning into the NFL. 
He's very physical and fights for every single yard. As a bigger back, it's noticeable that he takes him a few extra steps to get to his top speed. And with that, he still isn't the fastest back as you'll probably find him run somewhere in the 4-6 range at the combine. Durability is also a possible issue as he's carried the ball a ton in the last few seasons. But for Andre Williams, I have him projected mid to late second round of this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 4, we have Carlos Hyde, the redshirt senior out of Ohio State, sitting at 6 foot, 240 pounds. During Hyde's senior season, he ran for 1,521 yards on 208 attempts for 7.3 yard per carry average and 15 touchdowns. He's a solid downhill power back who can take a pounding. He refuses to go down, always fighting for the extra yard. He also has better agility than what you'd expect from a 240 pound back. He doesn't possess the ability to run away from defenders, obviously at 240 pounds, and some may question his character after being suspended three games this past season. But for Carlos Hyde, I have him projected mid-second round of this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 3, we have Bishop Sankey, the junior out of Washington, sitting at 5'10", 205 pounds. During Sankey's junior season, he ran for 1,870 yards on 327 attempts for a 5.7 yard per carry average and 20 touchdowns. Sankey possesses excellent vision and a quick burst through the line of scrimmage. He has the ability to make a defender miss in open space, but is smart about when attempting to do so. He's also great at securing the football. He's very durable as he's never missed a game in his three years at Washington. Some question how much he has left in the tank as he's carried the ball a ton in the last couple seasons, but with Sankey, I don't believe that'll be a concern whatsoever. To ensure this, he does need to add a little muscle to his frame as he's a little bit smaller than ideal. He also lacks top-tier long speed, so he really won't be a home run threat in the NFL. But my projection for Bishop Sankey is early second to mid-second round in this 2014 NFL Draft. Coming in at number 2, we have Trey Mason, the junior out of Auburn, sitting at 5'9", 205 pounds. During his junior season at Auburn, he ran for 1,816 yards on 317 attempts for a 5.7 yard per carry average and 23 touchdowns. Trey Mason is as tough as a runner as you'll find in this draft. He has a powerful lower body, which allows him to run through arm tackles. He's a very solid downhill runner who doesn't waste yardage going east to west. He possesses solid vision and patience when waiting for a hole. He doesn't possess the burst or run away from defenses. He never really cut the ball much at Auburn, so that will be a question transitioning into the NFL. He's a little smaller than you'd like, but as you've seen in the recent era in NFL, that's not much of an issue at the running back position. For Trey Mason, I have him projected going late first round or early second round of this 2014 NFL draft. And topping this list off at number one, we have Kadeem Carey, the junior out of Arizona, sitting at 5'10", 200 pounds. During his junior campaign at Arizona, he ran for 1,885 yards on 349 attempts for a 5.4 yard per carry average and 19 touchdowns. Carey displays solid power while staying very shifty with great vision. He stays patient behind his blocks and improved as a pass blocker this past season. He has shown himself as being very durable as he stayed healthy while being a workhorse in Rich Rodriguez's offense the past few seasons. He's not as fast as you'd think, but he's still very agile. He doesn't possess the burst needed to get to the line of scrimmage as fast as you'd like. It's going to be interesting to see how he transitions from a spread option attack to an NFL dominated by downhill running backs, but he very well could be a huge asset for a team in the near future. For Kadeem Carey, I have him projected late first round to early second round in this 2014 NFL Draft. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to big hit the like button if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com srotr. And as always, leave a comment in the comment section below with what you thought about my top 10. Let me know if you think there should be any changes, and let me know if you think I left out a guy that I should have put in here. So with that, I will let you guys go. Okay, once again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. As always, roll tight, go Sox, go Titans to you. Hope you have a great week. Stay tuned for more NFL positional breakdowns for prospects entering the draft. And until next time, guys, peace.